Do not compare yourself to anyone in life, like the moon and the sun cannot be compared to anyone, because it shines on its own time. Hello dear friends. Today I am going to tell you the prediction of the November for Libra Ascendance. This chart is of the planets revolving in transit, showing the current planetary positions. Venus, the Lord of Libra Ascendant, is transiting in your 12th house, in Virgo. Ketu is transiting in Scorpio, in 2nd house. Jupiter is transiting in the 3rd house, in Sagittarius. Saturn is transiting in the 4th house, in Capricorn. Mars is retrograde in the 6th house, transiting in Pisces. Rahu is transiting in your 8th house. Apart from this, the changes that are going to come, is that, on the 16th of November, the Sun will leave its debilitate zodiac sign and move to Scorpio. On the 16th of November, Venus will also come out of its debilitate zodiac sign and enter its own zodiac sign, in Libra. On November the 20th, Jupiter will enter in Capricorn. Jupiter become debilitated in Capricorn, but Saturn will dissolve its malefic effects due to being here. On the 28th of November, Mercury will move to Scorpio. By the way, Mercury will be active on the 3rd of November. New Moon is on the November 14th. Pradosh Fast is on the 13th of November and the 27th of November. Sankashti Chatyutai is on the 4th of November and Vinayak Chatyutai is on the 18th of November. Now let's move to prediction. Here 7 number is written, so you are Libra Ascendant. If your birth horoscope also has 7 number written here, then this prediction is for you. Please do not make any mistake in watching the video, otherwise the prediction will not match. This prediction on the basis of Indian times and dates, so you should set prediction from the date and time of your country. Venus is your ascendant, and in the twelfth house, sitting in debilitated zodiac. Mars is also watching him, you should take care of your health. Control your expenses too. You will be able to see the situation changing after the 16th of November. After the 16th of November, your health will also be good and will also get money. Ketchu can give you a problem in terms of money. Your speech will also be bad. There will be differences in your family. The sun will come in the second house. Then the sun together with Ketchu will increase negativity. Jupiter is still in your third house till the 20th of November, so till then there is a good position. But when it come to the fourth house, you can also buy a new vehicle. You can also get promotion in your job. Jupiter will start supporting your place at work. Saturn is in your fourth house. After the 20th of November, Jupiter will come here, then you will get benefits in property, in jobs, everywhere. Saturn is also the owner of your fifth house, then Saturn will also benefit the student. With Saturn being in the fourth house, chances of changing your house are also being made. You can also change jobs. The idea of leaving the job will also come. Mars is retrograde, in the sixth house, in its friendly zodiac sign. Mars will help you in your disease, debt and disputes. Mars gives good results in the sixth house. Your enemies will try to harass you but you will give tough answers to your enemies. Mars becomes the lord of your seventh house. And sitting in the sixth house, 
then Mars will eliminate your enemies and your diseases. But will spoil your spouse's health. You should take care of your spouse's health till the 23rd of December. For those whose birth Mars is not good, meaning there is Mars in the 4th, 8th or 12th house in your birth horoscope. Then you can observe Sankashti Chatyutai on November the 4th and Vinayaka Chatyutai on November the 18th. Sun enters in your ascendant, then it will increase your pride. Your ego may increase. You should offer water to the sun till the 15th of November and chant the sun mantra. Japaku Zoom Sankasham Kashaya Payam Wedu Time. To Mori Sava paper named Pranatosmin Devakuram. You should chant this mantra. Which will reduce the problem that can come due to your ego in your life. Who is in your eighth house? Rahu can give you some disease of secret organ. You should not dispute anything with your in laws. Your in laws may also be cheating on you, so keep this in mind. If Rahu is bad in your horoscope, meaning in fourth, eighth, or twelfth house, then you should recite Vishnu Suestra name on every new moon. In flowing water, shedding coconut will also reduce the bad effect of Rahu. In this month, new moon is on the 14th of November. Bad days. So now let's see about the bad days. You are, or I am, one or two days in a month go, which gives us stress, discomfort, trouble. Pessimists make it, and that is the time when the lord of the mind and the brain enters the negative position. When the moon comes in the 6th, 8th or 12th house, it hurts us. Those who do not have a good lunar birth, they can observe Pradosh on November the 13th and November the 27th. Third, fourth and the 5th of November. 14th, 15th and 16th in November. There will be bad days for you, so you should not take any wrong decision on this day. It is good if you do not fall into the mess of waste. Control your speech. Do not say that someone's soul is hurt. Your expenses may increase. Health problems can also come. Gaj Keshri Yoga. Now know about Gaj Keshri Yoga. When Jupiter and Moon are together, or Jupiter and Moon face to face each other, or in four places, then Gaj Keshri Yoga is formed. Just like now, the Jupiter is here, when the Moon will come here, in Sagittarius, or it will come here in Pisces, or it will come here in Gemini, or it will come here in Virgo. Then due to Jupiter and Moon, Gaj Keshri Yoga will be formed. Gaj Keshri Yoga, there is a combination of Jupiter and Moon. Jupiter means money and moon means water. So during this day the flow of money is good. If you do some business, then you can collect payment from someone. During these days, you can get benefit. So this is Gaj Keshri Yoga. Gaj Keshri Yoga is being prepared for you in these four days. Sixth of November, the thirteenth of November, the eighteenth of November, and the twenty-sixth of November. These four days will be beneficial for you. Fasting on Friday, feeding bread to cow, worshiping Mardaga will also benefit you. On every new moon, November the fourteenth, put some black sesame in water and offer it to the peepal tree. Will get the benefit too. So this was the November month prediction for Libra Ascendant. Keep watching our channel for more information. Thank you.